So this week, well, the drop is coming. The drop for the public, the drop for the public is Sunday. There's, uh, you know, there's still some left. Friends and family's really done a number on this drop. Sunday at noon. So, my week has been uh, physically uneventful, I guess. I mean, I've worked out, sleep, rode my bike, all that good stuff. I don't even remember what happened at the beginning of the week, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't get caught up in the whole GameStop story, wrapping my mind around what the fuck happened. I mean, I own a little bit of stock in these things, not incredible amounts. I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a stock shark. I mean, it seems like a fun time, uh, but it's not, it's not what I do usually. But I have spent this week getting new samples. So, my own business, there's no stock in, except for my own stock. You know, the problem with the pandemic is that a lot of stuff is just gone. Supply chains have just been fucked up. I've talked about it a couple of times, just how hard it is to get stuff done. And really trying to find garments, find garments that are in stock. I mean, we use what we, I have like about a dozen different brands that I like to use for garments, for different things or whatever. But almost all of them are always sold out of everything now. We'll only have small, they'll only have double X or only have triple X. So this is a, a problem. You know, I always, always wanna make sure what I'm doing is consistent. I always wanna make sure it's top quality. This shit matters to me. For the last three years or so, I've used the same stuff. There has been some new stuff introduced that I haven't checked out. There's new brands I've never tried. So for the last week, I've really just been kind of like meeting with this new printer, getting samples in, and just kind of taking care of shit like that. It's been pretty pretty boring as far as the vlog goes. And a lot of learning. You know, like what I realized, you know, I've been preaching and preaching and preaching about the internet and how you spend your time. And you know, last vlog we talked about this crypto art, stocks a little bit today. So a lot of these things I'm trying to learn. The stock thing I've played around with my, you know, my entire life. My dad bought me stock when I was a kid and I thought that it meant that I could walk into the store and steal basically. So, you know, my understanding of it was very, very, uh, Remedial. Reading books, like I bought a book on the stock market just to just to read more. I do have some money invested, but I would never invest like tens of thousands of dollars in something that I don't actually understand. That, honestly, this whole story, what's beautiful about it is that it's empowering. Like you as an individual can do research and now with the power of the internet and the power of networking, you don't have to be told that only they understand. You know, it's like every stock market movie, there's a guy saying, give me your money, I'll invest it. You know, like that, those lines are getting blurred everywhere and everything crypto art finance art the stock market fucking sneakers the the bullshit's kind of like leveling out or it's attempting to who knows what will actually happen a lot of people believe nothing will level it out until you throw a fucking molotov cocktail through the window but there is hope that there's some sort of redistribution balance but fair you know like not like just take money from the rich but hey the rich made a bad bet capitalize on it anyway with this digital art stuff like i create art very non-digitally i mean realizing like, hey, if you're gonna wanna step into this new thing, this new medium, you're gonna have to learn it. I mean, it's just like painting, you know, when I wanna pick up oil, gouache, or versus watercolor, acrylic, charcoal, all these things take time and you have to learn them respectively. That's where I am right now. And it's really exciting for me. Like what I love most in life, I think is learning. I've been waking up every morning, watch videos, do tutorials, like make shit in After Effects, like simple shit in After Effects that, you know, people could do in fucking two minutes, but take takes me three hours, you know, because I don't know what I'm doing yet. But it's a beautiful thing. I love doing it. You know, it makes me excited for the future because I get to work on stuff. Same as like figuring out these logistics. Usually I'm stressed out about what I'm going to put on the garments, but then there's these new challenges arise and that's what keeps the whole thing exciting. And that's really what drives you to keep making stuff. It's a challenge and it's a game and you want to come out on top. That's, or at least that's how I feel. A bunch of other footage from like the past week. I don't remember what any of it is. All I remember is Dirty Urns saying I'll be you hear that? he's vlogging on the way that yeah okay yeah so we'll see it's your chance time will tell but we should call and check because i haven't talked to him might not even get an answer from this fool yo yo you sleeping uh i was like napping oh. good. well i was just calling to check to see if i should how that vlog's going oh god <laughs> There's nothing. After talking to Ern, I was also reminded that, I don't know how I forgot this, I did a wedding. Hi, welcome to the wedding. You ready? Yes. You know, the way the skull is on your face, it looks like your teeth, it kind of like matches perfectly. Ah. I 
got the pulley system in. So I had to buy two different pulleys. This is one pulley right here. I have it attached to this kettlebell and you can lift it, right? And so you attach the second pulley there, comes down through here. Now I had to drag the squat rack over, which I didn't want to do, but this actually works. In hindsight, a squat rack with a built-in pull-up bar could have worked, but at the same time, this shoe, I don't know. I'm fine with this, whatever. But yeah, so now you have the lower pulley, which my only complaint so far is this doesn't like to catch the actual pulley, but once you get it, it does. And you can do some low pulls here. Um, I need some attachments for the pulley itself, but I mean, this shit works, dog. I mean, this is great. Some pulley action. I had to put the plate on here to get this from stopped moving, but a little janky. It definitely does the trick. But right now, we're keeping the gym membership for another month. Alex really likes going to classes. Like, she's been going to two a day to, like, prove to me, I guess. For now, we're keeping the gym membership. I'm actually going there. As soon as I'm done with this Zoom call, I have a, I don't think I can really talk about it, art thing that I'm discussing. I'm sure I'll make announcements as it unfolds. I feel like maybe I've hurt my left leg a little bit. Um, when I squat heavy, like anything over 225, but outside of my left quad, I can feel like a pretty intense pain. If it's lightweight, I don't feel it too much. And if it's on a machine, I don't really feel it at all. On my bike, I don't feel it at all. Um, unless I go on like a really, like anything over 10 miles. I can start to feel it. It's not detrimental to my performance, but squats, it definitely is. It absolutely hurts. So instead of pushing it and, you know, getting hurt for no reason, I'm just gonna take it easy on my legs. There's actually also a couple of King Kong prints left. So a couple of you guys out there can grab a King Kong. There's not many. Good thing this hasn't been opened. <laughs> huh? Test My test mat. The Tesla mattress. Sheets. Best we own, son. Now I just have to go test it. 